is going Grimmsnarl Dragapult. <clears throat> and we got Excadrill Grimmsnarl. All right, so couple of options here. We're going to Dynamax Max Steel Spike on the Grimmsnarl. And we're going to Sucker Punch the Dragapult. If the Dragapult does not Dynamax here, the Dragapult will get one shot. If he does Dynamax, we're Dynamaxing our Excadrill so he can live. What's up inside? So let's try this out. I don't need to, to Dynamax the Exudrill to to KO the Grimmsnarl with Steel Spike, but that boost in health is really nice. 370 health on this bad boy for three turns. And there is the Fake Out, which flinches me. Scald does nothing to Excadrill, and that's why... We do that, boys. Alright, that works. I'll take that play. We get a defensive boost. Um, so, we, using Scald, we know what type of Dragapult it is, at least. As an interest, I haven't seen Dragapult use Scald before. Uh, pretty good instant. Pretty good. Excadrill v. Excadrill. So, again... I need to worry about his Excadrill. He has Mold Breaker on that thing. But we just saw... We saw the... The damage... From his Excadrill. And we're not worried about it. So we're gonna double into their Excadrill. In case it is a... Um, a Focus Ash. And then we're gonna see who wins the speed tie. I have a Jolly Excadrill. So... If he's not a jolly max speed invested Excadrill, I win. And we saw Dragapult cannot two hit KO with Scald my Excadrill. So we're okay with ignoring him for one turn. Ooh. I didn't expect that. Eat that. Okay. But here's the question. What does that Excadrill do? It doesn't have Focus Ash either. Okay. So, huh. Misplayed that. Honestly. But I have an idea on this turn. T-tar. Shiny T-tar. My man. Sandstream is up. So now, that actually helps me out. Because now, Excadrill is faster than Dragapult. The question is, what do we want to do? So, Max Steel Spike into a Dragapult, plus a Sucker Punch into a Dragapult. Should KO the Dragapult before he gets to attack. We're going to find out if it does. This is going to hit him for maybe 50%. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now Steel Spike should hit him for 50% as well. Yep, there we go. The, the Tyranitar speed actually helped me because the Dragapult was faster than me. What I was going to do before he showed the Tyranitar is I was going to max protect on the Excadrill and Sucker Punch. Knowing Sucker Punch was going to do 50% damage. And then next turn I was going to Sucker Punch again. But this let me change it up a little bit. Tyranitar Iron Head into the Grim Sorrow. Does absolutely nothing. And this should be a clean sweep right here. Uh, Iron Head into Tyranitar. Should one shot.
So we'll go Iron Head and then Sucker Punch just to be... Actually, Play Rough. Battle cancel. All right. Clean 4 oh, sweet. I do kind of want to try out Dragapult, but then I would have to get rid of the Gengar, which is probably a better thing. I just, you know, I like Gengar. Oh, we got time for one or two more. Try and get it back to even. Couple of losses to start this one. Although one of them was because of the controller. Should be two and two right now on the day. Let's see what we got here. So they got the speed control and the braviary. We don't have an intimidate, so that's not a huge deal on him. We do have the Gengar that can, I believe, one shot it. Excadrill is big here. Gengar is really good against two of them. Three of them. Actually, four of them. So, Gengar is definitely coming in. Grimmsnarl is going to come in with him. I want to get that fake out onto the Bra... Uh, no, Bravier is probably going to G-Max Airstream, right? So, fake out's not going to do anything. But... That's fine. Excadrill in the back, and... I'd say Tyranitar in the back. Good against a couple of them. He's very weak against a couple of them as well, so it's a little bit risky. Yeah, just because I don't have time to... I think um, Whimsicott Gengar might have been a better start. But I don't have enough time to change it at that point. Alright, so we have Mold Breaker, Excadrill. Thunderbolt by itself would do 177% damage to Braviary. So Dynamax, Max Lightning should be able to KO Braviary even if it Dynamaxes, which I believe it will. And then we're going to fake out the Excadrill and have a 1v1 set this turn. I think it's going to be Braviary Dynamaxing. And if it isn't, then I get the speed control for the rest of the turn. Question is, can Gengar, if it's if it's a Excadrill Dynamax, um, can Gengar live that? Is the question. And actually, he doesn't even Dynamax, so we get the definite advantage here. Excadrill is going to not be able to do anything, and Gengar should be faster. Yep, and that will one shot the Braviary. There we go. Alright, so now we have speed control um, with Grimmsnarl, and he does not have speed control. Focus Blast, um, if he does not speed, uh, Oh, actually, we already know we outspeed the Excadrill, right? We just did that. Your Ludon is not fast, so... He's also probably going to hit me with a Steel-type attack. That's fine. 
Excadrill or Duralundon is the question. Excadrill. Am I faster is the question. There's no sand. I should be faster without sand. Yeah, and Max Knuckle should do 160% damage. Alright. Gives me the plus one on the Grim Snarl. Max Quake is going to KO Gengar. 100%. Raise their special defense, but that's fine. Gengar KO'd one, got a good chunk off of the second. And let's see what happens here. Flash cannon. It's gonna hurt. One shots me. Which is not the worst, because now I get the the Bash Brothers out. We saw that it was a Mold Breaker Excadrill at the start of the match, which means our Excadrill is faster than their Excadrill. Because we're going to have Sand up now. And how I assume this is going to go, we are going to high horsepower into the Excadrill for the KO. And we're going to protect on the Tyranitar, assuming the Dora London is going to try and Flash Cannon into it. That should KO. Yep. And then Dora London, I believe, would flash cannon into my Tyranitar slot. Which means we should have a clean turn right here. Yep, perfect. Alright. So let's see what his last Pokemon is. We got a 2v2. We have the Sand Up. So we have Speed Control. We're definitely faster than both of his Pokemon. Dorlandon is very slow, but he's very strong. Flash Cannon might one-shot the Tyranitar, and I'm not going to be able to protect him. Grimmsnarl is going to have that priority. He might have Fake Out. I think we go into Dorlandon with both. I'm not worried about Grimmsnarl's offensive pressure. He's a shield. Oh, okay. Let's see if we have enough power still. If Tyranitar's faster, we do. That's why we doubled into it. Perfect. Alright. I don't think a Grimmsnarl can 2v1 a Tyranitar and a Excadrill, so that should be game. And if he has a Sash, that's already cracked. Iron Head will probably one-shot. And then we will... Uh, also, Rock Slide. Get that stab. But Iron Head's probably going to one-shot here. It might not because of the Reflect. Eh. We're both faster than Grimmsnarl, too. So even if it didn't... Nothing a Grimmsnarl can do at that point, 2v1. Another one. 